For all our technological triumphs, humanity's reach into the cosmos remains stymied by limits we can't brute force our way past. Space is vast beyond imagination, and even our fastest spacecraft would take tens of thousands of years to reach the closest star, the speed of light. A hard limit carved into the rules of reality, and the energy it takes to even approach it, almost unthinkable. These constraints tie us to our little corner of the universe. But what exactly are these barriers? Why does physics say we can't go faster? What can our current and near future tech actually do? And most importantly, what would it take to break free from our cosmic cage? Let's find out the limits of humanity. Space is brutally big, and our travel speeds are insultingly slow. The Voyager probes, launched in the 1970s, are the fastest human-made objects drifting beyond the solar system. They're moving at about 17 kilometers per second, just 0.006% of the speed of light. At that pace, it would take more than 70,000 years to reach even the nearest star, Proxima Centauri. That's longer than Homo sapiens have existed. So why can't we just go faster? It's a problem of physics and energy. Rockets obey the Tsiolkovsky equation, which means to go faster, you need exponentially more fuel. No tweaks to chemical engines will fix this. As speed increases, energy requirements don't scale linearly, they square. Pushing a one-ton ship to just 10% of light speed demands the energy equivalent of hundreds of millions of tons of TNT. Near 99% of light speed, we're talking more energy than human civilization produces in a year. We're up against a dual limit. Our rockets are too slow, and the energy we can generate is far too little. Now, even if we solved propulsion and energy, there's a deeper problem. The universe has a speed limit. And it's not just a suggestion. Nothing, no particle, no ship can travel faster than light. It's a physical law grounded in Einstein's theory of relativity. As an object with mass accelerates toward light speed, its energy requirement explodes. Its effective mass increases, time slows down for it relative to everything else, and it takes more and more energy to keep going faster. At the limit, to reach exactly light speed, you'd need infinite energy. Even particle accelerators, like the Large Hadron Collider, accelerates protons to 99.91% of light speed, but still not 100%. But not all the way. They always fall short. It's not just about speed, either. If faster-than-light motion were possible, it would break causality. It would allow effects to happen before their causes. Messages from the future. Despite serious constraints, engineers have proposed propulsion technologies that surpass chemical rockets in efficiency and speed. None break the light speed barrier, but each pushes the boundary further. Chemical rockets. The workhorse of space travel since Sputnik, chemical rockets produce high thrust but have low exhaust velocity, 25 kilometers per second. Even top designs like the Saturn V reach only a few kilometers per second after burnout. They were enough to send Apollo to the moon and probes to the outer planets, but even with gravity assists, they achieve only to 0.005% of light speed. Deep space demands something more. Ion drives electric propulsion. Ion thrusters use electricity to accelerate ions to very high speeds with exhaust velocities seven to 10 times higher than chemical rockets. Typical ion exhaust speeds are to 30, 50 kilometers per second, but thrust is very low. It takes four days of constant thrust to reach 60 miles per hour. The Dawn spacecraft used its ion propulsion system, which consumed a few hundred kilograms of xenon propellant to achieve a record-breaking total change in velocity of approximately 41,400 kilometers per hour 25,700 miles per hour over the course of its mission. 
Ion propulsion is 10 times more efficient over long durations. Still, even with improvements, interstellar trips would take millennia. Nuclear propulsion. Nuclear propulsion delivers far more energy than chemical fuel. Nuclear thermal rockets, tested by NASA, heat propellant via a reactor and reach 8-9 kilometers per second. Nuclear electric systems power ion engines. Project Orion proposed using atomic bomb blasts for propulsion, aiming for 5-10% light speed. Fusion or antimatter drives might cut travel to Alpha Centauri under 25 years. These remain experimental and require big advances in propulsion and shielding. Solar and light sails. Solar sails use photon momentum for thrust. Icaros and light sail too showed it works. In deep space, lasers can replace sunlight. Breakthrough Starshot plans a 100 gigawatt laser to push a 2 gram probe to 20% light speed, reaching Proxima Centauri in 20 30 years. It's only viable for tiny payloads, but light sails could be our first way to reach another star. If interstellar travel remains out of reach, humanity's survival depends on a single planet. Earth faces threats from space asteroids, supernovae, gamma-ray bursts, and from ourselves. Nuclear war, pandemics, climate collapse. As Stephen Hawking warned, we may not last another 1,000 years without leaving Earth. In about a billion years, the Sun will make Earth uninhabitable. Without interstellar travel, we're on a cosmic countdown. Right now, our reach is small. But every step off this planet buys time. We may never beat light speed, but we can beat extinction. If you're still watching, hit like, subscribe, and share this with someone who dreams of the stars. Our future may depend on it.